just down here, we've got a wonderful example of something called cross bedding. Now, what is cross bedding? Well, can you see on this big slab of rock here, you've got some layers which are on a slant moving that way. And then directly above, you've got some flat layers. Now, wherever you get this, with the slant and with the flat, it's called cross bedding. And it means something very important. This rock with the slant and the flats and the slant and the flats was laid down by water moving sideways. It's the only way you can get it because as the water moves sideways, carrying all the sediment with it, as it is rolling forward, it will dump that sediment in layers and then smooth it off at the top. So the Valley of the Rocks here was not only laid down by water, we know that because of all the ripples, because of the cross bedding, which is all throughout the Valley of the Rocks here and all throughout this Devonian limey mudstone, this was all laid down very, very quickly by water moving sideways. Now I know this is a very technical thing to get your head around, it's quite complicated, so if you want the full explanation with all of the diagrams and the pictures giving you a complete explanation of it, make sure you get the accompanying booklet to this presentation for here at the Valley of the Rocks. Um, it will go into much, much more detail and you'll be able to get that at therockscryout.co.uk. But for now, remember one important thing. These rocks, because of the cross bedding, we know were laid down very quickly by moving water. And that matches up directly with all of the ripples that we find here. These rocks, this huge formation, was formed very quickly by moving water. So down here on the beach, behind me we have this huge cliff face and we have a spectacular example of large-scale cross bedding. The rocks directly behind me are at an angle, pointing up this way. The rocks above are flat, cross bedding, angle, flat, angle, flat. Now this is exactly what we were seeing happening over by the stream just round the corner. As the water is running along, it is depositing it sideways, making the layers at an angle. And then the water runs over the top and flattens it off, depositing more layers as we go. And then the cycle continues. The stream was at a small level. This is at a big level. But the great thing about water is that it always behaves the same, whether there's a little bit or whether there's a lot. Water always has layers in it. Water always behaves the same whether you're dealing with a little stream that runs through the beach or whether you're dealing with a worldwide flood. And a worldwide flood explains this cross bedding far better than millions of years of slow deposition does. So here we have a remarkable phenomena happening. As the stream is running down into the beach, it's bringing lots of little bits of sediment, the little bits of sand. And then when it reaches the end, it begins to deposit them as the water is running over. Not one on top of the other, but sideways. Now in geology, the principle of superposition says that the bottom layer is the oldest, the top layer is the youngest. The bottom layer got there first, the top layer got there last. But we do not see that in the real world. In the real world, what we see is this. Water running, moving sideways, carrying sediment and then depositing it very, very quickly. It happens on a little scale, it happens on a big scale, and it can even happen on a worldwide scale, just like Noah's flood. You see, here we have remarkable visual of what would have happened, and it explains most of what we see in geology, particularly cross bedding. <laughs> 